Uh, at the start of last year, I took this class. It was my very first class that I took at Stanford, and it was called Prisons and Performance. And, and the idea was that we studied performance art programs that, that took place in prison. Part of the class included a trip to San Quentin where we were able to go and meet and talk to inmates who had taken part in these performance programs. And we had the freedom to walk around and choose what we wanted to see and who we wanted to talk to. And it affected me incredibly deeply. I remember it so clearly uh, even now for, for a couple of reasons. I think first of which was the sense of freedom that we were given while we were there juxtaposed immensely with this constraint and tightness and, and systematic oppression which is put on these prisoners uh, coming from a place like Stanford which is full of these absolutely magnificent buildings. Uh, these, these gorgeous pieces of architecture, this autonomy which, which all students have and then going to a place like that and seeing you're entirely, constantly surrounded by razor wire, walls, cages. And that, that idea of the cage is something else that stayed with me. When we got there, um, the prisoners were, were shouting at us. And one in particular looked me right in the eyes and he said, come to the zoo, have you? Have you come to look down on the animals? Uh, it was not a place that was, it was not a place that was very easy to spend time in. Um, but I learnt an incredible amount. Uh, while I questioned humanity and faith in humanity and a lot of the ways that these men are treated, I also learnt the love and resilience that, that these people have and that the majority of the time these are really honest human beings who regret their mistakes. And I came away feeling like most of them at least and the ones who did have the capacity to open up deserve a second shot.